um now that we're um um we're done with uh the uh with done with the collision problems let's now focus on center of mass so um important at center of mass because we will see that uh most of the assumptions that we are doing as i remember our newton's law say, say that um all the uh, flat amount of force is external so for a particle that's true what about for a system of particles so for a system of particles it's possible that it's total but in but in Bashar, um this newton's law uh, Newton's second law can still be applied. Can still can Newton's second law be still applied to a system of particles? We, we will see that it is indeed still possible because of the center of mass. Okay. Now, let's, what's the center of mass? Uh, any system is composed of many particles, so we can define the center of mass by this equation here. So, for example, a water molecule has three atoms, so we can define its center of mass, um, which is basically the um, uh, pwede mong isipin na yung particles sa yun, pag pinagsama-sama mo masses nila at nilocate ko siya sa location ng center of mass, ang nangyayari, um, as if yung dynamics niya ay same dun sa dynamics ng center of mass. So, Ganun yung nangyayari. So, as any system is composed of many particles, but we can consider it as a point. So, that um, accumulation of particles can be considered as a single point with some total mass, which is the sum of the masses of the individual particles. So, pero kung particles sa ganyan, 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 ganyan. So, pwede mong treat yan as a single particle with the masses, just the sum of the masses of each individual particles. And the location of this particle point here is the location of the center of mass. So, yun yung ginagawa. So, um, pag nagawa mo na yan, you can now treat the system of particles here as a single particle and pwede mo nang gamitin lahat ng ginawa mo for the past um for the past um, 18 lectures so, na okay i can use my newton's laws here i can use my um dynamics here for example pwede mo gamitin yon di ba so so the center of mass for a system of bodies with masses m1 m2 up to some mn located up some r1 r2 and rn up to rn where r denotes the position vector of some coordinate system the position of the center of mass is given by just basically you multiply the mass with the position vector and then add each of them. So M1, R1, mass times position, plus M2, R2, mass times position, plus and so on, plus mass times position of the nth, divided by the total mass of the system, the total mass or the sum of the masses of each individual particles. So, so ganun lang siya. So um, in 2D coordinates such as X and Y, we can just write this as M1X1 plus M2X2 plus and so on, um, divided by M1 plus M2 plus and so on plus Mn. So, ganun lang yung mangyayari sa system na to. Okay? Questions? So, ganun lang. Yun lang kailangan natin dito. Okay. And for Y, for Y coordinates, ganun lang din. M1Y1 plus M2Y2. You just multiply the mass with the position vector, mass times position vector, plus and so on, mass times position vector, divided by the total mass of the system para malocate me center of mass. Okay? Questions? May tanong? None. None. Okay. Now, um, for geometrical symmetrical objects, ang maganda, pag geometrical symmetrical, ah, ano raw? Pag geometrically symmetrical yung objects, ang center of mass ay nasa geometrical center niya. But sometimes, kung hindi uniform yung um, distribution ng, ng matter dun sa object na yun, kahit pa sphere cube o cylinder yan, pwedeng wala sa center yung center of mass. Ang assumption dito, uniform yung density. Ibig sabihin, um, um, kung ano yung density at one region, yun din yung density at another region. It's some, it has some constant density. And that, and that density doesn't change with respect to the position of the, of the, of the mass, so of the matter inside the, inside the object. So kasi minsan, um, especially when you look, uh, pag nag-72 na kayo, doon yung makikita na hindi lahat ng density is uniform. Okay? Sige. 